I, I am curious. What is the question? You said to me that uh, after a certain point, you kind of lost interest in Hunter Hunter. Uh, here's why that is because of the hiatuses or what? I, I was surprised how this became an interview now, but anyways, the. Well, I mean, I don't know. It's been a while since we've had a call, so I might as well get these uh, questions right, right, out right. quickly. My problem with Hunter Hunter is like part of it's the hiatuses. I feel nothing's really resolved or anything's actually moving forward after a while because um to, to me every conclusion of every arc seems like a cop out like <laughs> like every <laughs> every single resolution to all of them it just feels like well i'm stuck in a corner i'll just shit my way out of this the best examples of york new arc with the um like kurapika you could well, kill all of us but thank god we have this um <laughs> fortune telling ability so now we can uh, still be alive and then when he's so yeah. like yeah i'm gonna fight you now oh i don't have my powers well, fuck me. <laughs> like, okay, next arc, Green Island. Oh, we're gonna meet your dad. Like, oh, I'm not your dad. <laughs> I don't know where he is. Then oh. Kamara ends arc. How are we supposed to defeat these guys? It turns out he developed kindness and friendship. And now he's about to die. Well, oh, that's we lame. The election, I'm trying to remember how that went. That um, that was just really brief and pointless. Anyway. Yeah, I don't even remember how that went, but the way someone got elected there, it's like, oh, I dropped out. <laughs> and then, <laughs> like... See, see, all these resolutions, I'm thinking none of them really, they, they don't feel any satisfaction to me. I just feel like he just gets stuck in a corner and then he just decides on some bullshit answer. And then the um, the same thing goes with the, oh, where was I going with this? Where was I going with this? The, um, okay, I feel that most of Hunter x Hunter, just Togashi's obsession with games and puzzle games and um, RPGs and everything. Because it's very noticeable in Green Island, obviously, but even the beginning where it's more psychological, um, inviting. Interesting. I'd argue that was the uh, best part, though. Yeah, yeah. But here's the thing, though. Like everything revolved around a game. Like all the entire series revolves around gameplay or anything. And then... like in the uh, the tournament, even with all like the mm -hmm. the psyching. Yeah. Well, I always thought that was one of the cool hooks about it is that the combat was both mental in a way. But you're right. There were like, like a lot of set yeah, rules. He likes. Like, I don't. I don't have much of a problem with that. But I just I just feel the overall scale of Hunter Hunter is more like. What the author wants to do for himself, and more and less of uh, what do the readers want, or at you least know, that's how I, I interpret it. I, I'm it's interesting to think you brought that up because, unfortunately, because it hasn't really been moving, I haven't been able to, you know, really keep my interest as much. I still like most of what I've seen. I think the problem with Hunter x Hunter is that really it's mostly just different. It's just that all the arcs are kind of separate from one another, and I agree that in terms of characterization and plot especially once the characters get separated it feels like that the plot isn't really moving forward necessarily i mean it felt like at one point okay back in york new for whatever reason crop the story you know comes to a forefront it's like we could have had that resolved and maybe these guys could have been the main villains for a while maybe they could have been the main villains of the whole series certainly seemed that way a good example of that but it, in addition to that though I think it's just oh, kind of random. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was kind of weird that they sort of switched protagonists randomly. But I was fine with that because if that was the way they were going to do it and advance each character's arc, but revealing backstory, presenting some new villains and a new threat, and then resolving it that way, that's fine. But then they just leave it completely hanging. And you've got these other villains that seem really awesome that could be the protagonists, but then they're not the big protagonists. And then you keep developing other things. I think the biggest problem is that the primary motivating factor in the series is that Really, Gon wants to become a hunter, you know, explore the world and grow as an individual. But ultimately, it's to find his father. But once he finds his father, it becomes kind of anticlimactic. And it's like his story is resolved. So now I've just got Gon wandering around with other side characters. And, and they're just going to be hunters now because it's more awesome. But, you know, it's, it's kind of... It feels like the main plot sort of lost focus, and so you, you can focus time on side characters, but even they aren't really getting the main focus they deserve either. So we're really just kind of wandering around from world to world, and it's not really connected. I think the the other problem that I have with Hunter x Hunter, well, I'm going to go back to the, um, the conversation you had with Duel about Aizen, that we don't know his motivations, why he was doing this. It, it kind of applies the same way to the um, to Krolo. And, okay. Yeah, because we really don't know much... Oh, oh, that's a problem too. He's supposed to be the big bad, and he's like, he seems like a dude, like a random guy. He doesn't even seem that evil. It's just, it's weird. It's like he, what? <laughs> why are you such? You know, it's true. He doesn't really seem like everybody likes Krolo. I mean, he's got a cool design, a cool power, which is BS, by the way. But, but it, I'm sorry, it's just he doesn't really have that presence. He doesn't. And from what we know about his backstory, he sounds like kind of a, at least an understandable guy. He helps these people out. They're all poor and destitute. Gives them kind of a family 
the unit. If but it doesn't matter. You guys can carry on without me. It's like, it's, I don't know. He just, he doesn't seem like the big bad, even as like an arch enemy for Karabika. I don't, I agree. I agree. I feel Gon's storyline is already done. And maybe Kilua's might be done also, but. Kind of, feel, yeah. <laughs> I just feel that the story as a whole for Hunter x Hunter is less developed than Hakusho. Like, even though we have like all these interesting concepts and the uh, Chimera Ant arc is definitely a boost for the, uh, you know, the idea of like what's human or what is living and stuff like that. But now mm-hmm. I, I just feel that um, y- y- you could substitute the whole um, Chimera Ant arc for like, like the demons and you Hakusho in that perspective, like how they uh, interact with one another. And as a uh-huh. species, and like, you know, kind of similar to how the ending of Hakusho is in towards the manga, but I just feel that it's it's missing something. Because personally, for me, I, what I don't like about Hunter x Hunter is that after a while, I feel Togashi is just has this um, bad habit of explaining things. Oh, like by it, the way, hero. Yeah, yeah. By the way, this might lead into another discussion. We'll get a couple videos out of this call. Oh damn! But uh, please, you made a comment recently about this, and I. I, I'm really annoyed, and it's partially your fault, Hero. It's partially your fault. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> well, it's, it's, well, it's not what you said. It, it has to do with something you may realize. Okay, first of all, right. I, this is something that has been as bad in back today, but in recent years in anime, one thing that has been really annoying, that is really unnecessary, is narration. Mm. Over narration, t- where the author tells you everything that is going on what the characters are feeling, and what the motivations are. And the new Hunter x Hunter is one of the worst offenders for this, which is one reason why I don't like it as much as the old one, but that's not where my bone is to pick with you, Hero. No, sir. Oh. No, sir. Oh. The yeah. number one, the number one criminal for overdone, overdramatic, constant narration is Kaiji. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that guy never shuts up. I know. <laughs> it's like, oh, intertwining men dangling because society is terrible and everyone only cares about monetary gain what will kaiji do he knows that he is sad you couldn't tell that he is sad because he's crying and screaming but he is sad <laughs> i assure you like god just let the let the characters tell their story themselves what's that cut because uh, it, it treats the audience like fucking idiots and we can't really think for ourselves